This time, we want to test the two days function, which should pass a string in a year, month, date format to a date object in Python. Let's open the file. Import daytime from the standard library SDT, and then write the test to date function using the assert command. Now, let's run it. And it works, but we have a problem. What happens if someone imports the wrong string format for the date? By design, it gives us an error saying that the import is not the right format. But we want to check if the error message is raised correctly. For that, we need to use the pytest.raises context tool. To use it, we need to write a new test to catch the exception. Now, to use the context, we use the Python with statement followed by pytest.raises value error. Notice that that error is the exceptions that we're expecting. Now, we can create a test that is supposed to raise an error by getting it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as the parameter. Let's test it. It passed the test, which means the value error is raised when the test is run. Now, let's try to make this test fail. If we change the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to a proper date and run it again, we see that it fails since it didn't raise the value error. Let's go back to fix it. However, to make this test more robust, we have to go beyond simply checking if any value error was raised, not necessarily the ones we raised in our code. To check if the error message is exactly what we're expecting, we can change it with statement update by adding the match parameter and specifying what the error message should be. Let's run the test again. And as you can see, all our beautiful tests pass. This is how you check if an expected error is raised. Very useful, especially when dealing with functions that conveys multiple different errors by design. Before we move on to write more tests, let's have a look at what a fixture is and how it can be useful for writing our tests. PyTest provides a feature called fixture. It can be useful when a constant context needs to be provided to the tests. Fixtures are created outside of the tests and can be used multiple times in different tests or even used in other created fixtures. We will go through some examples of when it is useful later. By using fixture, you can mix more complicated tests and have full control of the testing environment, including setting up external environments for your tests. Via fixtures, your test can have access to these external environments that got set up. For example, you can provide information from an external process that is set up by the fixtures. So, what did I mean by saying that fixtures can provide constant context from an external testing environment? Here are a few examples of fixtures that are being used. First, when we have an external surface, let's say one that lives in a Docker container and can be accessed via API calls, you may not want to spin this surface out multiple times, and you probably like to keep the surface running until you're finished with all the tests. For that, we need a fixture to share the surface among multiple tests. Another scenario is, when we are using external data files or database where the beta is stored and should share among tests, we will see this use case in the following videos when we write more tests for our application. Finally, the benefit of using a fixture is that we can separate other dependencies from the test itself. Through write efficient unit tests, the tests themselves should have less dependency on external variables so any errors on the test can be pinpointed to the feature that the unit test is testing. By taking some of these dependencies out as a fixture and feeding them into the test, we know that if the fixture fails, it has nothing to do with the test. 
and that helps a lot when troubleshooting. Let's see how we use Fisher in code. This example here is a bit silly, but it shows the syntax of creating a fixture and using it. To create a fixture, we called in the fixture decorator from the pytest module and add it to a function. The function then will turn into a fixture. To use the fixture, just pass the fixture as the parameter to the test function. Then the fixture here is fully accessible by the test function. In this example, we push the fixture together with the test function in one trial. For more complex test setup, you may see sometimes the fixtures are created in a separate file called conthpest.py and the scope setter module. This is to make the fixture accessible and shareable across all the text files. But it is more complex, and for this course, we will not be using fixture this way. Now that we know what a fixture is, Let's use it in a very simple scenario. As usual, we start editing our tests. Now, let's see what we can change into a fixture. What do you think? Something that is constant and can be reused in other tests. Okay, let's see if you are thinking the same. We are going to make the task list in test find task into a fixture so we can reuse it in other tests. First, remember that we will pass the fixture in as a parameter. So, let's add that in the parameter list for pest find task. Then, we write the fixture like this. Let's add it before the test function. If you feel like the challenge, pause the video and try writing it yourself before watching me doing it. Also, don't forget to delete the test list in the test function, since we don't need it any longer. Now, let's test if it still works okay, like it did before. So, save and quit. Let's test it out. All green, so no problems at all. So now that we have a fixture, let's reuse it and break it at the test. Let's write a test for the fade and low functions. Here, we will use the task list fixture. Like usual, feel free to pause the video and try it yourself. Let's test if the fixture also works in this test. Let's save and quit. and run the tests. We also got all passed with no problems. With this small example, we see how Fixture works syntactically. However, it is not using the true power of fixtures. Fixture can be more useful in more complicated scenarios. But it is a good start for us. As you can see, the task looks tidy, and we can reuse some elements for multiple tests in a way that is easy to manage and understand.